base five degrees and we got a call the customer says that their house is um cold down in the basement or the third floor is uh, really cold so i told him i'd come out and troubleshoot it and um we'll see what we find out okay so here's the boiler here looks like it's up to temperature we're sitting about 190 degrees um let's see here the zones they're calling for heat they're all open you see the little led light here on these taco zone valves and they're all in line going vertical so that means they're open don't hear any don't hear any circulation from the pump the pump is not hot really it's just the lines are hot but they're the pump is not that warm at all so it's not seized up or anything so next thing i need to do is check power going to the pump we know that the boiler is hot As you can see here, the voltage. Okay, I got no power. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the aquastat because the aquastat sends power to the pump. So if I check the settings, I get a high limit of 170. 140 for the low limit. And the wires going to the pump are here. There you go. I don't know if you could see that. Look right here behind the control board. You'll see it spark. So this control board is bad. Be careful because it don't want to get shocked. So what I'll have to do is put a new aquastat in. So what's happening is it's it's maintaining the temperature by turning the burner on, but it's not turning on the circulator pump. I don't know if you just saw that. It just sparked again in there. So I'm going to go ahead and kill power. And then I'm going to go ahead and swap this out. We're going to install this AquaSmart AquaStat to replace this. This is more efficient. Uh, should help save fuel and um, function the same way as the old AquaStat. It's got a digital display. And this is the sensor for the Aquastat to go into the, the sensor well. Let me verify that the power is dead now. Okay, it looks dead. Very important to make sure power is completely off. The thermostat comes in, it goes to TT. Then you have the hot black wire here and the white wire. They go to L1 and L2. Then we have the circulator pump right here. That's going to go to C1 and C2. And then you got the boiler um, burner. And that is going to go to B1 and B2. And then there's another line here that feeds...
So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And um, please stay tuned to more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And smash the like button if you like it.